first day on the bomber forks. Way easier. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. First day on the bomber forks. We're in Laguna Beach and we're gonna hit some local trails. And I'm gonna get a feel for this fork and adjust the settings so that way I can set it and forget it. Check it out, this thing looks clean though. It's ready to eat. Coil in the rear, coil in the front. We're gonna see how that combo works today. I'm gonna remove one spacer. I can feel my handlebars flex a little and I feel like it's because this top part of the stem isn't biting the fork. So we're gonna lower it one down. It's a little too high. That's a little risky there. Yeah. <laughs> I notice a lot of little things on my bike. If something doesn't feel right, it throws me off. And when I felt my, my handlebars flex a little, I said, that's probably not a good feeling. It's almost like a musician with their instrument. If it's out of tune, they'll know. I think we're gonna cruise it because this is the first trail yeah, I'm gonna take it easy. on a new fork. I'm excited to hit this trail. I usually only ride weekends and the weekends this place is always so freaking packed with hikers. So if I get a ride during the week in this area, I try to hit car wreck. One more coming down. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. oh geez. It's been so long since I've hit this trail. And it's a little bit different. Fork is feeling pretty good. A little too bouncy from what I'm used to, but it's definitely eating. Pretty ruddy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, everything's pretty rutted over there, though. You're maneuvering quite a bit along the trail. I made the rebound a little slower, so we're gonna see how it handles on this piece. Oh. Whoa. oh my goodness. That was a little better. We're just gathering some stuff, Reaper and I. My old RockShock Yari fork. We got Reaper mug, koozies, and microfiber towels. We're gonna store it in this trash bag and we're gonna put it at the bottom of Car Wreck in Laguna Beach. But somebody probably already got it just because I would have posted like a short video about it, letting people know. Hopefully somebody comes and gets it. Otherwise it's just gonna be sitting there. But yeah, we're just gonna 
put all these things in the bag, tuck it away, and then we're gonna keep on riding. <laughs> Way easier when I don't have to hold it with one hand. Look at that, man. Boost. So I put more preload for this trail. I was reading that more preload allows you to sit higher and use more of your travel, which is ideally what I want for downhill. So we're gonna see how it pans out. Oh my God, dude. My life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. That feels so good. Ah, dude. Yup, that was it, man. Felt so good. Do that first section right before the rock garden got me a little shook oh wrong gear That's pretty fun. We want to hit links. One more trail. Oh. Good. Yeah, you're good. Last trail of the day. We got up that that climb in like five minutes with Reaper towing me. are built up the rain works wonders on this trail
just uh that was fucking crazy. <sighs> home sweet home dude this fork is a monster this is what we well all the travel you we used up it didn't bottom out but it got pretty freaking close i don't know if that's where it's supposed to be at but i loved how this thing felt today so i'm just gonna leave it as is i think i got it dialed mr reaper thank you for the toes that was an incredible experience it really blows my mind to see how far this bike has come when i was at the top of car wreck i realized that all the original parts are pretty much swapped from the clash the original parts are obviously the frame the sprocket the cranks and the front wheel everything else i've swapped out and i've noticed each time i swap out a part the bike tends to feel better you know you if i upgrade it to a better part obviously but in regards to the fork i don't think i'll ever go back to an air fork and that's not to say that there aren't really good air forks out there i just fell in love with how that coil feels and i want to keep it that way you know i'm not opposed to trying new things and if uh you know if an opportunity comes to try an air fork that's better i'm all for it you know just so that i can help myself progress but in this moment right now i think i'm gonna keep this set up and keep the coil front and rear just because it felt so good on today's ride i've only ridden a few forks it was the rock shock yari which i had previously the domain that's on my hardtail and then a sun tour fork and this bomber fork but i would have to say the bomber fork beats all of those without a doubt the rockstock domain does come close i think i just need to set up the suspension a little better on the domain for it to feel better but i still think i would enjoy the coil fork a lot more it was honestly a pretty crazy feeling the moment i realized that this fork was the real deal or like it can handle was on the rock garden of rocket i did not touch my brakes as soon as i started you know the rock garden it was incredible how much stability control i felt planted on the yari i do have to slow down a little bit because i get bucked when i'm going down that section and it could be that i didn't set up that fork properly who knows but it was pretty nice the way it was just floating over the entire rock garden that is a wrap for this first impression ride on the forks. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. And I'll catch you on the next one.